Good afternoon uh, dash evening going into it feels like evening because it's super dark outside. I just wanted to jump on and talk about something. The, this can be quite a personal conversation for me, which is the cost of health. And how much does it cost to be healthy versus how much does it cost to be unhealthy? And the reality in this country is very few of us actually know how much healthcare actually costs. And so what I wanted to go through is a couple of ways that you can actually reduce the cost of looking after yourself, but actually throw in some reality checks of actually how much it genuinely costs when things go wrong with our health. So a couple of ways that you can really start just taking care of your health, and it's none of these things actually cost any money. And this is actually a simple way to, to help people reduce costs of their healthcare, reduce costs of their health in the future, and actually save our NHS a little bit as well. Because some of the, some of the surgeries and some of the options on our NHS, despite the fact that they are free to us, are actually really, really expensive types of therapy. And I'm gonna just jump onto those in a minute. But some really simple ways, things that you can do for free that will improve your health. Staying hydrated, it costs zero pounds to make sure that the water coming out of your tap makes its way into your body. Number two, eating things seasonally. Eating foods that are seasonal and locally grown not only reduces carbon footprint, it increases the amounts of nutrients that you actually get into your body, but it drives the costs down. Home workouts cost zero pounds. In order to get a mat and take it out, put it on your floor and jump up and down and do 100 burpees costs zero pounds. However, has a huge impact on the way that our body starts to function. Stuff like meditation, absolutely free, costs nothing. However, has been shown to reduce the risks of depression, reduce the risks of anxiety, improve people's mood and make people happier people. These things cost zero. And by the way, I put a whole list of things on here of things that are absolutely free that you could do today that would improve your overall health. And by the way, these are all things that we can do during this next phase of the lockdown. However, the complete caveat to that, or the opposite to it is how much, how much does it genuinely cost when things actually go wrong? And some of these figures are staggering. They're staggering because the number of these that get done in our country is now absolutely unbelievable. Now, let me just give you a couple. A hip replacement or a knee replacement on average in this country will cost somewhere between eight and 15,000 pounds. So knees tend to be a little bit cheaper, but a knee replacement or a hip replacement will cost somewhere in the region of eight to 15,000 pounds. Now, if we go on the top end of the scale on that, which is 15,000 pounds, that reality, based on the prices that we give in our clinic at a maximum pay-as-you-go price, that means that you could genuinely come into our clinic twice a week for the next three years and still pay less than one hip replacement. Let me just say that again. You could see a chiropractor twice a week twice a week for the next three years, for the next three years, and it would still cost less than the average hip replacement in the UK. So which one's more expensive, chiropractic, osteopathy, massage, or physio care, or is it a hip replacement? And it's genuinely the hip replacement, despite the fact that we all get those for free, but we don't get those for free because our taxes are, and by the way, our taxes will drive up if we continue to have these kinds of services. What about chemotherapy? One course of chemotherapy in this country can cost anything up to 30,000 pounds for one course of chemotherapy, which essentially means you could see a chiropractor twice a week for the next six years and you would still pay less. And the reality of it is, is if you are visiting a health professional twice a week for six years, do you think that your health would genuinely improve enough that you could start to actually make a difference and reduce your risks of things like hip replacements, knee replacements, uh, heart disease, diabetes, etc.? Now, the last one is staggering. This one is unbelievable. The average cost of a heart transplant in this country is £100,000, 
which basically means you could see a chiropractor twice a week, twice a week for the next over 10 years, over 10 years for the price of one heart transplant in the UK. By the way, just because our health service is free, it does not mean it's free. We all pay our taxes for it. And if we as a society cannot learn to take a level of control and do something for ourselves, we will keep driving the cost of our NHS, uh, NHS up and we will continue to see the NHS trying to drive people out and not allow people to see us on the NHS because we're not taking care of ourselves. And then we blame the NHS when an issue then starts to occur and we can't be seen because we do not have the resources to be seen when 90% of conditions that make their way into the NHS, such as heart disease, such as diabetes, such as cancers, can be reduced by people taking a little bit more control of their own health. Let's save the NHS £100,000, let's save a couple of hospital beds, and let's actually start taking care of our own health rather than blaming other people. So maybe take some of the free recommendations of things that you could do that you could do instantaneously that would actually help you improve your health tomorrow. Staying hydrated, eating a better diet, exercising at home, doing some simple stretching or yoga, using something like a foam roll or a massage ball, actually moving your hips, going and doing something to actually reduce your risks. And maybe leave some comments below and tell us how you've actually changed or how you've actually improved on yourself in order to actually make some changes for our, both saving our NHS and actually saving yourself. Till tomorrow. Take care. Patrick here from Complete Health. We'll speak to you again soon.